Happy Wednesday and happy Veterans Day, you guys. Hi, I'm Kathy Nordyke. I'm the owner of Drop the Leash Pet Sitting, and I am on here on Wednesdays to share my wisdom with you. Today, in honor of Veterans Day and my parents' wedding anniversary, by the way, happy anniversary, mom and dad. Thanks for staying married for like a million years. I appreciate the effect that's had on my life, uh, and I'll call you later. I want to talk to you today about military working dogs. Did you know, I found this on the American Kennel Club website, that currently more than 2,500 dogs, military war dogs, are in the field or helping veterans um, recuperate. And 700 of those 2,500 are deployed overseas. Wow, that's amazing. I had no idea there was that many. Military dogs perform certain jobs. So um, they do things like explosing, uh, uh, explosive detection, tracking, um, patrol, search and rescue, and attack. And of course, as I mentioned before, they also help um, veterans who have returned from battle to recuperate, which I think is a really cool job. Um, did you also know that the Lackland Air Force Base has their own dog, military dog training school? So um, they're in San Antonio, Texas, and they've been training military dogs since 1958. If you'd like to read more about their military dog school, you can go to caninehistory.com. And last, I want to mention the very first war um, battle military dog ever. Um, her name was Sally and she was a Staffordshire Terrier. She was actually um, part of the Civil War. She was part of the 11th Pennsylvania Volunteer Infantry. So she served with them during many battles, but um, most notably the Battle of Gettysburg. During the Battle of Gettysburg, she actually went missing for three days and her fellow soldiers couldn't find her. Eventually, she was located and you guys, she was on the battlefield guarding the wounded and dead soldiers there. So she continued to do her job um, even when others were looking for her. So she's a great hero. I um, also read that she, her fellow soldiers, after she passed away during another battle, they um, created and erected a statue in memory of her, and it has been placed at the site of the Battle of Gettysburg. So that would be a really cool thing to see, wouldn't it? Thanks so much for watching today. And you guys, if you run into a veteran or see a veteran today, be sure and thank them for their service and tell them how grateful we are that we have in, enjoy so many freedoms here in the United States. Thank you also for watching. If you'd like to know more about me or about my pet sitting business, you can check me out on Instagram at Drop the Leash Pet Sitting or visit my website at dropthelashpetsitting.com. I will see you next Wednesday. Bye guys.